Hey guys, welcome back to the Pixel Com Squad Mighty Number no. 9 commentary. We're going after the best mighty number in the fucking game, Cryo. Okay, so I still had the I have the YouTube subtitles on. It's it's just saying yeah over and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I, I, I'm showing this off now, so I want to actually talk about it before I forget. Uh, if you assimilate enemies mul like multiple enemies while in the air, you'll get uh, extra points for your combo. So. That's neat. Is there at least like a leaderboard or something? Yeah, there's a leaderboard. To board. compare like... Okay. Because otherwise the um... The score would have zero points. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. mostly zero points. <laughs> there's a big difference between mostly zero point and all zero points. <laughs> um... I was gonna say something about this game, but I forgot it. Um, Fuck this game. The main character looks <laughs> kind of like a baby. All of like them a little, do, let's be like honest here. Yeah. But him him the most. It's like you put like a baby inside of a suit. That's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> like at least Mega Man looked like a kid. Or at least in the yeah. anime, in the anime he did. But like this one looks like a legitimate baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that is the first time I have noticed that little uh branch off to the right there. Not this one, but the other one. Uh, that oh, was in well, the fall, you're going down. section. I have no idea yeah. what's there. I've never <laughs> gone that way. This is this is the first time I've noticed it. The one time I see it when I'm not actually playing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's there. I, I purposefully ignored it because you get a point bonus if you fall down that shaft without touching the ground. How you figure that out, I have no idea. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's only one place where you would even touch the ground anyways. Yeah. Oh, not two. Two. And I did, I actually got that once on accident. And your mind was blown. Oh, here she is! <laughs> I didn't realize why I got that. <laughs> I was just like, well, okay, I get three points. Cool. <laughs> Anyway, this is Pong. Yeah. yeah. Interesting yep. boss concept, but like, what the fuck? Interesting boss concept that's been used to death. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Pong was the first video game. You could say they're playing, paying homage. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and that describes how we feel about it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think you're just full of shit. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I don't I have I like... no idea what Pyro actually does here. Like, he was there, and he melted some ice, but I don't know what that does. Like, it's in the background. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> he was helping you out. You had to, you had to defeat that ice, or else. Oh yeah, you know? this is one of the things that uh, I heard about with this game that a lot of people didn't like was uh, the enemy placement is infuriating at best. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of enemies like just at the edge of a fucking jump. It's like is fuck there you. Yes, there's yes. knockback. It's Oh god damn it. It's Mega Man. Of course there's knockback. <laughs> um, but you know what that means. If there's knockback, there must be damage boosting. <laughs> Speedrunners, um, get on it! <laughs> Speedrunners, I said, all! I like talking about how this game sucks as someone who's never played Mega Man. <laughs> because I feel like I'm not I'm not gonna be labeled as like a just a hater because it's not like Mega Man. I can actually criticize it as a like mediocre game. And it's, yeah, because it is very mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel sorry for Inafune though, honestly. <laughs> um, I don't. He deserves everything wow, that's coming okay. to him. <laughs> anyway, here's Power's ability well, like, hype. Yeah, that did something. <laughs> <laughs> you, even like, like the marketing, not even like the whole like stupid anime people marketing, which was dumb, but uh, like the marketing made it seem like this was gonna be like action packed and stuff, and it's not action packed. <laughs> like it, it's, it feels very like not 
Well, it seems super easy for one. Well, that's because that's because like I'm oh, I, I I played this game through three times before recording it. Well, was it easy your first time? No. Well, most of it was. <laughs> Let's be honest here. There's one part As someone that who doesn't really play. That, there's one part that two uh, even in this recording was a pain in the dick. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it's it just needs a little bit of polish. I think it needs a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, if they would have tweaked the art style just a bit, I think a lot could have been better. Yeah, you know, you know, you know make his hands if, a little if, smaller. Even if they just went with, like, the Mega Man powered up art style, I'd have been fine. Yeah, I didn't have a problem with that. Also, uh, Cryo says Slamma Jamma, so she's obviously a fan of the Donkey Kong Country cartoon. <laughs> I thought that was banana slamma. <laughs> Shut up. Please tell me she does a rap. <laughs> I'm, I'm questioning the need for 3D um, 3D graphics, though. There isn't one. They, yeah, it, it's just like because they're going to make a cartoon out of it. I can't remember well, if I, I feel Oh, like, I heal, that's right. I, I feel like highly stylized 2D graphics would have done this yeah, game good, that, that, that's oh, what I, That's what, what I was thinking. Yeah, it would have been looked, but it, that would have helped. But uh, it would have looked. I think. I, I just thought of an. Oh, I just. I just thought of an argument, uh, for the, uh, the whole two D thing, or not the two D, the bleh, the the combos and dashing and stuff. Uh, there actually is a mm -hmm. gameplay reason for it. Uh, the higher your combos get, the quicker your uh, recovery thing uh, fills up. Oh. So it's ba they're basically your sub tanks. Okay. Well, at least there is a reason. Cause like in 2016, we don't we don't need scoring for the sake of scoring. <laughs> Thinking about it, yeah, 2D art style would have made this game look a lot better. Plus, it would have cost a lot less. So uh, no, no, like hand drawn sprites and stuff probably would have cost more. Oh. Because th well, all of these models barely have any polygons on them. <laughs> hmm. It kind of Espe shows. Especially the backgrounds. Like, lo look at this! Look at this! This is supposed to be a lab! <laughs> this is where cutscenes actually take place. <laughs> okay, oh, wait, see, wait, 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 this, was... this is the best dialogue. The, not, not this line, the next line. What? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> they're, they're puns. They're puns. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I think you mean snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's so awesome. only good when the character is endearing. Jeez. I like Cryo. Fuck you. <laughs> Austin. Uh, so I went back and uh, looked at the scene where Pyro shows up in the background again, and uh -huh. I realize what he's there for. He's literally just there to show you that you can burn through the ice walls using his ability. Yeah, but his doing that's slower than actually shooting them. I know. <laughs> 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 well, that and, that and it's like... He shows up in the second one, and all the ice disappears, which is wonderful. Does, does that ice because play any I part in, like, the actual level, or is it just background? In, he only shows up in the... Well, no, he, sh he shows up before the boss and gets rid of the ice. Yeah, but what does that do? There's no ice on the ground. Oh, oh, so you don't slide all... Okay, I get it. But that's, that's, you're that's a little dancer. Done. No, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, you, yeah, you, okay, yeah. no, no. I, I, let me explain this. You get, um, you get temporary like uh, buffs by assimilating certain enemies, and one of them is the buff that powers up your gun to it. It makes it do double damage, and it shoots through walls. No. Oh. And I was waiting for it to wear off because I wanted to try to uh, keep my combo going. And that would have screwed it up, but I ended up screwing up anyway, so that was a waste of time, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it looks, it looks fun. Looked like he was having a good time there. <laughs> <laughs> if only he lifted his arm up 
and it had that stupid <laughs> derp eyed look. You know the one. <laughs> Anyway, this guy's from fucking Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> he also, like, sounds like they were trying to directly reference Gutsman there. Probably. How can they have a Mega Man game without Gutsman in some... Some, some persuasion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then again, Wily isn't here, so we don't have anyone who's ridiculously don't obsessed you know? with him for no reason. Don't you know? It's all Dr. Blackwell's fault. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Dr. Blackwell has like two or three cutscenes. Spoiler I alert. Don't... And spoiler alert, they don't matter. I forgot what I was doing here. I think I got yelled at for to do something. I don't know if I cut. Well, the suspense is killing me. Did he cut? <laughs> Did he? <laughs> 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 in case you haven't noticed, uh, I like to assimilate everything in sight. Yeah. <laughs> I, I no, have I'm noticed. like that. <laughs> I, I do not know how to assimilate these two at 100%. I think it's impossible. <laughs> I've, but that is like the most awkward jump I've ever had to do in a video game, by the way. Like blowing up really that barrel. The <laughs> oh hi, hi AOD Blaze. <laughs> how, how are you today? <laughs> I see secrets. What the hell is in these boxes anyway? <laughs> this is the worst secret ever. You don't get shit. Yeah. Oh, and when you fall, it drops you on a mine that you will not know if your first playthrough. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> but if you but if you dodge it, you get two thousand extra points. Because you knew it was coming and it was nothing to do with skill. <laughs> also call bugs the fuck out of me because she's she's not like the other robots in this game. She just talks like a robot. It, it's kinda like you know Okay, I'm sure everybody will know exactly what I'm talking about, but you remember the sequel I episode where they were making fun of the idea of a helper character telling you what to do? She is that, yeah. except in all seriousness. From well, what I can uh... tell. Nah, it's not as annoying. It's not as annoying, but they were attempting to be more annoying than usual for the sake of satire, so... Yeah, I didn't actually mention this during um, py the pyro boss battle, but um, during the boss battle, uh, you get audio cues as to what attack he's going to do next. And um, halfway through the battle, the professor starts talking, and you can't hear pyro. Well, maybe the professor's in on it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's the trying to sabotage must burn. <laughs> <laughs> also, when I first saw uh, Bat, Bat here, I didn't know what I was looking at for a second. <laughs> but he is literally an artillery cannon with a missile silo on his left arm and a machine I mean, <laughs> and a machine gun on his right arm or a Gatling I gun. Mean, <laughs> I was about to say I've been looking at it for multiple seconds and I still don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you have Cryo's weapon, he's a joke. More so than usual. More, yeah, look at him. He's halfway dead. He hasn't touched me. He has this attack. It does a fuckload of damage. It's also incredibly telegraphed. And that's it. Stop talking! Oh, well, yeah, because <laughs> I'd say that, but you just fought Cryo, and she puts up one hell of a fight even if you have her weakness. Yeah. Actually, I actually think I stopped using her weakness at one point because I think I was taking more damage using it. <laughs> yeah, you uh, kept getting frozen. Yeah, good job. Good, good, good job, guys. Good job. Also, I'd just like to say everyone who thought this game was going to be great because Cajun Afune was working on it 
uh, you're dumb. Keiji Inafune just draws characters. That's literally his yeah, job. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't... Also, also I love this! His hands designer? just... His hands just clip through his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his hair is a hologram. <laughs> I Maybe this game is often, a hologram. <laughs> often, I think a lot of the reason people wanted to believe was because of we need, uh, we wanted Mega Man. The, the same the same reason why people get excited every time a new Sonic game comes out, even though they know it's going to be terrible. <laughs> hey, I was pleasantly surprised by Generations. <laughs> and then incredibly disappointed by Boom. Actually, no, I wasn't. I, I kind of figured it was going to be bad. Yeah. <laughs> I but, had hope for it, but I'm not surprised. But it's arguably worse than the infamous 06. How do you do that? I think, I think it legitimately is worse than 06, but that is a story for a whole other day. And look, oh, look at those shots in the comments. Oof. <laughs> also, they the, the, their reason for not explaining what uh, Dr. White's hypothesis here was, uh, they got a phone call, so they just drop it. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta pick up the phone. I'm expecting a call. I have I, I ordered a pizza. And it hasn't it hasn't gotten here in 45 minutes. So you know I assume they're calling me about that. <laughs> you are all set. Yeah, that's also that's just so awkward when he asks if you're ready to go. He's just like, eh, y'all you y'all set? Is is that is that good? Y are you good? I'm a fucking robot. Am I gonna be any better than I am right now? Like really? <laughs> I gotta get emotionally prepared. <laughs> Maybe turn a uh, turn a couple of bolts here and there. <laughs> oh yeah, but ta bat's weapon is the most broken thing in this game because this and this and this and this and, this, and uh, my weapon energy is at max still. What the heck? Yeah, the big fuck you explosion that wrecks everything. Yeah, it barely uses any energy. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please tell me you're. Are you just gonna use this weapon for the rest of the game? Because it um, seems like <laughs> no. But I will use it for a majority of the game. <laughs> I can't wait to see the uh, speedrun start showing up, though, because that's going to be interesting, I think. <laughs> yeah, dash, 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 Chunk, jump, slide, slide. <laughs> anyway, that thing is an insta-kill, don't touch it. It looks like an insta-kill, yeah. Yeah. But uh, there's also a dead end to your left, and if you're not dashing like a madman, it's going to kill you. Lovely. <laughs> See. Is it at least avoidable on your first playthrough? Yeah. Okay. You just gotta. You just have to dash, which is your normal instinct anyway. Yeah. Yeah. No. Like even first level, once I realized how to dash, I was just like, oh, I'm gonna do that for this entire game. Then. <laughs> there is an achievement for only dashing nine times in a level. <laughs> Why do you do that? Nine? <laughs> anyway, if you don't get a uh, bat uh, to help you in this level, this section gets a whole lot harder. See, it occurs to me now that you're think you're talking about the flying type of bat. I thought you got like a baseball bat. No, no, no. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about a bat. I'm talking about the 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 the, 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 the artillery cannon. Oh. Yeah, the guy. His, his the guy full name's, name. His full is name is Battalion. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So I was wrong on both accounts. Got yeah, it. Yeah, like, they, they all have <laughs> nicknames. Like, Cryo's real name is, like, Cryogenic, I think? Would make and, sense. And Pyro <laughs> is, who the fuck cares? Nathaniel Whitmore. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, you would assume Pyromaniac. But yeah. why are you assuming things, you asshole? <laughs> I 
I attacked Bat there. Fuck him. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm right here! <laughs> I can hear you! <laughs> this guy is boring too. It's still operational. You know what I think my problem with uh, Beck's design is? He always looks bow legged. I'm getting huge Waluigi vibes up in here. Ah, I can see that now. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, also, uh, I'm going to have man. to return you to your senses. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry that I have to return you to your senses. <laughs> Such a horrible thing for me to do. You made me do this. <laughs> <laughs> Could've just lived your life as a fucking psychopath, but no. <laughs> <laughs> you could have you could have dragged people into the forest, killing them slowly. I wouldn't have banned an eyelash, but no. Do I die? You here? had to do this. I think I might die here. I don't remember. No, I killed him. No, close. He's, got, he's guts, man. So he's easy. Oh good, he doesn't speak in complete sentences. No, he no he's big. No, no, Brian, you know what the beautiful part is? He only does that in this this one scene. Everywhere else he speaks normal. Uh okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. It's okay, Brian. I don't get it either. <laughs> also, his weapon is fucking awful and they should feel terrible for even thinking of this idea. What does it do? <laughs> uh you turn into like a like a mini bulldozer. And uh You turn into a mini bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the oh, and the level where Mix Weapon uh, is like the weakness, like the guy that's weak to it, his level makes that power completely useless. And you'll see why in the next part. <laughs>